Hi guys, back to another video and welcome to Ready and Gasha. Now, okay, so this is kind of a queer cooking, but kind of not a queer cooking at the same time. So I didn't really know what to call it. But basically, guys, I have got this gingerbread house thing that my work has been selling. And I thought today we would build together a gingerbread house. Now, I have no idea how this is gonna turn out. The one on the box seems kind of extravagant. Let's just get started. So I should really open the box first. It is kind of cheating in some way because obviously the gingerbread bits are already together so I don't have to worry about putting all that together Oh it smells like gingerbread guys Ooh, We have some sticky stuff I guess that's the icing and there's lots of like sweetie things like jelly tops and stuff Do I have a face? Do I... I guess I need to get like a tray <laughs> That guys, <laughs> did you miss me? <laughs> I got a tray guys British tray because I'm clearly patriotic Do I have any instructions or do I literally just like do it. Is there nothing on the box? Build a gingerbread house in five minutes. Oh, five minutes? I don't know if that's gonna happen. <laughs> okay, so step one, it says here, before you start, massage the icing bag gently for one minute until icing feels soft. So I've got to massage this. Oh, it seems like some sort of weird perversion. Oh, so this is like the glue. What? But they decided not to make a base for this, which seems really stupid. Okay, so it says on the back of the box here, Cut the icing bag. Once the icing bag is soft, with adult supervision, because you know, I'm only about 10 years old. You can clearly see that this is made for like kids. Lay all six pieces of gingerbread down on the table and pipe a thick line of icing along each edge. I'm scared I'm gonna break them. So, got the front and the back. Okay, so I'm gonna cut the bag, there we go. So now I have to like make like a, I've gotta pretty much glue these together. So, where should we like, I don't know how good this is gonna go. So, make a thick line here. Oh God, I think that's a bit too thick. Oops. Oh well, we've got no more, <laughs> we've got no more icing for the rest of the house. You'll get onto it, you bastard. There's another thick line. This is so disgusting. <laughs> now, I hope you realize, guys, this is literally meant for like six year olds, like not 24 year olds. Ew. So now I have to somehow stick this to this. Is it gonna, I don't think it's gonna stick to it. Is it gonna <laughs> stick? Guys, this is, this is just not good. Well, it's clearly not sticking, guys. I don't know what they expected this to happen. <laughs> this is an absolute mess. Although, I think it's I think it's working a little bit. There we go, guys. Oh, I've made a bit of a house. Look. Oh, that's not too bad. I don't think that's too bad. Okay, so I just changed the angle of the camera just so you can see what I'm doing a little bit better. But, okay, so now I have to stick these roof panels onto the top bit here. It says here make like a thick layer of icing on these like ridges, but I don't know how that's gonna go. So we shall see. So let's ice up the thing. I feel sorry for anyone who's watching this. I'm not joking. One of our, right, one of my workmates, his three-year-old child apparently made one of these. I think he did it actually. It just said that she did it, but no, apparently she did it. He can lie all he wants. So now let's spit the wall panels on. The ceiling, I should say. I honestly don't think that's gonna stay. I don't understand how that is meant to stay up there. Now this side of the house is being demolished. Oh, it's steam. Oh, guys, it's kind of working. I'm kind of doing it. Now I need to get the icing and just sort of do it on top here. <laughs> yeah! I'm just gonna cover it in sweets now. Let's just open these bags of sweets and just shove them all over the top and just see what happens. I honestly thought I was gonna be able to do this. I didn't think it's gonna be this difficult. So here's some things. Let's put these on top. Okay, now they're just going all over the floor. Got some more. Let's just pour these on top as well. <laughs> okay, the roof is kind of caving in. No, nope, you're gonna stay there whether you like it or not. Guys, look, it's all right so far. It's kind of surviving. I've got these weird gum things. So I'm gonna stick them around the outside of these. This is the finished product, guys. I hope you enjoyed my gingerbread house. This really is one of those expectation reality moments because I clearly can't make shit. I think you should hit the like button just for sympathy and to pity me because I am shit. If you've made a gingerbread house, please tweet me them. And go and follow me on the rest of my social medias, my Instagram and my Facebook. All the links are in the description. How, how did they honestly expect someone to do that? I don't understand. Anyway, 
<laughs> um, gotcha! Yeah. It does taste alright. What can I say? Like I turn to you. I turn to you.